Hello everybody, I am Renzo Mox, and welcome to another Bionicle 2016 Winter Wave set review. Today I am reviewing set 71311, Kopaka and Melum, the Unity set. I have a lot to say. Okay, so first of all, you know, it sh showcases both characters, little baddies, oh my god, <laughs> little baddies off in the background. This doesn't exist. Um, the name... It's the Unity set. That's pretty cool. It shows the actual Unity mode, which is inverted for some reason. I don't really know why. There's the set information. And on the back, you know, we got... It shows Kopaka's actual size of his golden mask. It shows uh, Melum's function. It shows Kopaka's stud, sh or stud launcher function. It shows Kopaka's gear function. And then it shows the uh, mask function thing. Oh, God. What happened there? Oh god, it's completely pitch black. And then it shows Melum, Kopaka, you take them, and you can unite them, which I actually won't be showing in this video, just because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> okay, yes I will. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, comic that shows, you know, he's shooting, Melum's fighting the baddies, Kopaka flicks them away, takes his golden mask, uh, Melum jumps on him, and then they become united, and then he beats up Umarak. And that's it! Really, really big box, by the way. It's the biggest of this new style. So I figure we'd start this review off with the smallest of the bunch, Melum. He's a fairly petite-sized creature, and he's relatively around the same size as Tarak, and very similar, similarly built to Tarak. But let's just take a look at some of the differences with his color scheme, and articulation. So I'll just start off with uh, the color scheme. It's very... eh. It's not my favorite. They could have made these translate blue. I don't know why they didn't, but why Lego didn't. They're just black, and I don't really know what to think about that. There's white, trans blue, and a bit of gold. So one in the head there, you actually get all three colors in the head. And then with these new pieces, which are very nice, you get gold and translate blue. And then you do get a uh, little claws, so they're like they're little paw pieces. And then you do get small legs, and the articulation actually fairly standard. Neck can you can really bring that down to kind of make him. He actually kind of has a similar design to a Borok. I just noticed that, eh, kind of. Uh, but you know that can be also lift up all the way, and then you can also move his arm and his hand and each individual. Individual finger can also move, so you can make him, you can clamp them up in a fist to make him look like he's going in to punch somebody, or you can, uh, you know, have them out, just whatever you want to do with them. And then legs, you know, it's it's standard. It's two joints. It's not the best articulation, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, a uh, decent color scheme and decent amount of articulation, but yeah, it's overall decent. So now we will be looking at the function. And as with most of the creatures, it's mostly one function. This guy's consists of a very similar function to Terak. However, instead of an up and down motion, Melum has something else going on for him. So first of all, I'll show you how this is done. He has a tail which sticks up like this, and you can bring it down. This happens. It's a clamping feature, so it's fairly interesting. You can grab a baddie, you know, you can hug them. It's been debated between, uh, like... Uh, hug it. It's mostly been debating uh, between hugging. That's the big controversy here. And I don't really mind it. It's a nice little feature added in with the gears. Plus it has lots of friction, you know. Only if you shake it, the arms are going to go down, but mostly it just stays like that. So it's very, it's very smooth function. I actually love it better than Terak. And here's my argument with Terak. I think, personally, that uh, Terak looks better but Melum's function is better. That's just my opinion, but yeah. Let's move on to the accessories, I guess. Since there are no accessories, sorry for the fat, or fat advertising. Sorry for the false advertising there. Uh, I didn't really know where I was thinking. Uh, but since this is a two sort of character set, we'll be looking at Kopaka next. So, he's got standard articulation, you know, the standard um, head. And then his shoulders are actually built together. That is a very neat little custom technique thing going on there. So you can lift that all the way up. 
really depends on how you pose it. It can look awkward sometimes. Like if you want to lift up the shoulder, like you got to move the neck or the neck. And I don't know. That just kind of looks a bit weird. I don't. Per I don't really enjoy doing that. And then you know the arm, one joint, and then the hand, one joint. That's fairly simple. <laughs> you know you can make it make him look like he's blocking or something like that. That looks fairly cool. Uh, same goes for the other arm and then legs. Absolutely standard. They're not. They're always going to be pretty much standard at this point in time. His color scheme is a very big mixed bag. It's quite new from last year. 2015 had a fairly interesting color scheme, but this one is definitely a lot more interesting. They brought in a lot more silver, a bit more than I wanted to, and this set actually is quite uh, conflicting because it's he's at the height of a $20 figure, but he seems to be a $15 figure. It's kind of confusing. Uh, or he looks like a $15 figure. I'm not certain. So he has a lot of silver, including on his shoulders and on his uh, what, shins or knees. Uh, that is a great design. Tahu and Kopaka both have a very similar design. I like it on Kopaka a bit more. Just wish those were in gold, because there is an incredible lack of gold. These stick out like crazy amount. If it wasn't for the trans light blue, it would be very weird. And then, of course, you know, you actually have the introduction of a dark blue, which is very interesting. It's a weird color to take, but it actually was on Kopaka 2015. If you actually look at the sticker that they gave you, there was a bit of dark blue there. So, they brought that back a lot. You know, it's on the chest. They did bring in this very light green, too, but it's barely prominent. It's only in, like, the chest area. And, yeah. So, the color scheme is definitely very meh. You either hate it or you either love it. I'm kind of in the middle of that. So, let's take a quick look at this guy's functions. With every Uniter of 2016, he has the ability with the little pusher at the back to throw off the mask. It's a neat little function. It's not my favorite, but, you know. Hold on, let me just find this thing. I actually lost it. There we go. Because I'm not actually... Okay, there we go. But that's a neat little function. Now let's go over the other functions, because there are two more, I believe. Okay. And then, basically, with this gear located on his back, you can spin this and his body will just go round and round. It's a fairly neat function. I think it does look very interesting. And of course there's the squeak. You don't want you want to make sure that those gears do not get in the way of each other or else it's just annoying. And then there is also a third function, very similar to Onua. He actually has a stud shooter with a little shield on it, which is the only sort of shield that we actually get for 2016. So, unfortunate, but you know, just stick out that and turn the little gear and pew pew and pew it's a stud shooter it's fairly standard uh, stud shooter wise so also sold in this set is a golden mask of unity fusion I don't really know what they're calling these things but I just wanted to note that uh, this and the actual Kopaka mask has a blue trans or trans light blue stud on it it's a neat little choice and you can actually switch that out for really any stud you can actually make it longer so I'm glad they give you stuff like that. It's it's cool for playability, and it just it, it it's awesome. Um, actually, let me show you with it on Kopaka. Just fling off that mask and put on his golden one. Yeah, I don't know. It honestly doesn't look too good. There's only three gold pieces, so it kind of looks out. It's and in this case, it's actually worse than the 2015 or not 2015. The uh, fifteen dollar uniters, because they don't have any gold. Okay, that's one thing. But this guy, he actually has gold, and it's just not passed around very well. The trans light blue is fine though. You know, it all kind of blends together, anyways. So yeah. Okay. Now I usually don't do the or bleh, I usually don't do this in these types of videos. However, I am going to do this for this one because it's one set. So yeah, it's just it's one set. And it all kind of works together, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be covering the Unity mode, and that's only because, you know, it's one set. Uh, the other sets are kind of sold separately, so, you know, you can't, can't really just, you can't do that. <laughs> but this set kind of all comes together, so I do have to show you this. And I'll actually go through the process of Unity itself. I'll just put Melum aside for now, uh, because he's kind of big. And I'll show you the process. So you flick off that mask, 
you put on the golden one. Well, you don't have to. It's just an option, but it's really one of the ways to look better. Then you take Melum. I'm actually... You adjust his limbs so that everything seems to be kind of standing up like this. Because you don't want anything to get away, including the legs. You actually should put that one back. And then, uh, you can see a couple of uh, pins and stuff right there. And you just take this, the two pins, pinholes, just put that together. And that's really all there is. Uh, the rest is pretty much just do it yourself. Actually, no. You just... Hold on. You take that creature head, just put it on like that. And then with the... I'm going, I'm doing this way too up close. With the arms, club arms, you can really just do whatever you want with them. But I prefer to uh, put them on the shoulders. As that is pretty much the recommended thing to do. Okay, so that's what he looks like. This is the best way I could get... Uh, I probably could do better, but I don't know. It's okay. It does add a lot more gold into it, which is nice, but then the head almost seems like way too much gold. It's just a... It's all gold in Translate Blue, so it's just it breaks up the color scheme a bit. And it's very similar to Onua and Terax, which I will get into the future. Or, in the future, I will get into it. It's just... It doesn't really fit. I don't know. It's not my favorite Unity mode. I'm bit, I'm bit, I, yeah, I'm trying to get the arms to just fit on. They're not really cooperating. And uh, by arms, I mean Melum's arm. Arms to kind of create that shoulder sort of thing that he's got going on. Uh, <laughs> this is all off camera, so it just, it, I it seem very lazy right now. There we go. It's a bit closer. And as for the back, it's a bit more filled out because usually it wouldn't be filled out. But, you know, you do have stuff like that to kind of fill out the back. So it's nice. It's it's an okay Unity mode. It's not my favorite, but it's all an option. You don't even have to do this if you really don't want to. Okay, so what about this set? It's a very mixed bag in my opinion. Uh, it's in. It's very odd. I do like the fact that you're getting both these figures in one box. It was kind of unnecessary. Besides, you do lose a Shadow Trap, which does suck because... It already shortens the length of shadow traps that we get, so it just it's a really just a kick in the groin, really, <laughs> or wherever, whatever. Um Kopaka's nice. Is he as good as his twenty fifteen counterpart? Nowhere near. His twenty fifteen counterpart was amazing. It was actually my favorite or one of my favorite forms of Kopaka. Melum's okay. He's kinda like Terak, but he's almost worse in some categories. But I do like his function, and I do think I do love the look of him. He looks great. The Golden Mask, again, it's okay. And yeah, everything here is just kind of okay. But would I recommend picking up this set? Meh, sure. If it's for the Unity mode, then no. And if it's for just a good ice character, then maybe. But if, it's, <laughs> if you're getting any of these sets, and you don't actually like any of these sets, then definitely get them for the parts. They're definitely worth it. Oh, crap, I totally forgot to mention something. Onua and Kopaka... I feel so stupid for forgetting about this. Onua and Kopaka both have stud shooter holders. So, sorry about that, guys. Oh, I feel stupid for forgetting about that. Um, so, yeah, they both actually have stud shooter holders on their leg. So, I feel stupid about for, uh, forgetting that. Anyways, I'm Renzo Mox, and I'll see you guys next time. We're Will where we will be reviewing the final Bionicle 2016 Winter Wave set, Umarak the Hunter. So I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.